guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Team Choose GUI in Roblox Studio 2017. So what you're going to want to do is first is go to Model, Advanced, Service, and Teams, and you're going to sort that into here. Then what we're going to do is we are going to make some teams. So let's insert three teams. Now, let's name this one Red Team. And then this one Blue Team. And then this one we are going to name Choosing Team. So, we're going to put Auto Assignable checked on this one. And the team color to white. On this one, we're going to uncheck auto assignable and change the team color to really blue. On this one, we're going to uncheck auto assignable and change the color to really red. Now, we're going to make three spawns. And this one is going to be one for the choosing team. So, again, we'll make this white and make team color white as well and then make the force field duration to zero and do the same for the rest so since this one will be the blue one we'll change that to really blue that to really blue and the force field duration to zero and also we're going to um, uncheck natural for that one as well as this one and change the team color to really red change the color to really red in there and also change the force field duration to zero and there we basically got the spawn places for the teams and the teams created and now we're going to go into making the GUI so there is a little bit of scripting involved but I'll go through it with you so you can understand it and the reason I'm not just putting all the script to copy and paste in the description is because it I have to explain it all or it won't work. So, you're going to get a starter GUI and you're going to insert the screen GUI. And then inside of that, you are going to insert a frame. We are going to name this the GUI. Wait, no, we're going to name this frame. Never mind, don't name that. And then what we are going to do is change the position of it to 0 0.5 and then this to minus 300 and this also to 0 0.5 and this to minus 200 and then we're going to change the size of it to make this 600 and this 400 and then there we got that there we can decorate it by changing the color of it and that's good now what we're going to insert a text box no a text label into it and we can change what we want about that we can make it um let's make it that color then we're going to go down to text you can make it say choose your team and then you're going to check text scaled now what we're going to do is change some things about it so change the position of it to point one and there so now that you got that in there we are going to do something else we are going to go to frame we are going to insert a text button 
this text button is let's see um, we're gonna change the position of it so let's see I'm gonna set the position of this 0 0.25 we're also going to change the size of it. Um, let me find the size. Oh, this one needs to be that. There. So you're going to change the size to that. And then we are going to duplicate and we are going to change the position of it to instead of 0.25 we are going to do 0.50 there now we can change the color of these so, so this one is going to be for the red team we're going to make it red and since this one is going to be for the blue team we are going to make it blue now we can change the text inside of it also by going down to text we can make it say blue team and then we're going to make the text scaled and we're going to do the same for this one except we're going to make the text say red team so we got these two buttons and now we need to put some script into them so we're going to do insert object local script delete all this and now you're just going to follow along with me and you should be good so which we are going to be putting in there is this. So we're going to say local player dot, wait, no, not dot equals game dot players dot local player. And you can go down to line three and do script. Um, dot parent dot mouse button one click and then you can do this one and then connect and then function that then we're going to go down one and say play here dot team color equals brick color dot new and then we're going to do the name of the color that we picked for it, which is really red and you have to spell it just right or in, and if it doesn't work just check your spelling so then we're going to go down another one and do game dot workspace and then we're going to do this then I'm gonna say player dot capital N name. Then we're gonna close that with that sign, and then we're gonna do dot head, and then this sign, and then destroy. So basically, it will reset the person and make them spawn at their base that they chose. So, we basically got all that done. Now we're just going to copy all this. And we're going to put a logo script in the next button. And then we can paste it in there, but change the color name to that one's color, which was really blue. And, yeah, we basically got those now. So, let's test it out. So as you can see, we spawned in the choosing team, and let's say we want it to be, oops, as I can see, as you can see, I got these mixed up, and never mind that, I'll fix that later. So let's say I want to join the red team. Let's say you are now on the red team, on the chat, and I'd, you can see sort of on the bottom of my screen, as you can see down here, you can see that I spawned at the red place, if I wanted to spawn at the blue team, let's say you're now on the blue team, and... You spawn at the blue team, as you can see. 
So now let's stop this. I'm gonna just really quick change this cut since I messed up so we don't get confused. Red team, and then change this one too. Because we don't want to get mixed up. That would not be good. We'll take this one. Blue. Okay, there, we got that fixed. And now we need to make a button that opens and closes this menu because we want to be able to see the game most of the time. So in screen GUI, we are going to insert another frame, but this time we're going to rename this frame to anything you want. I don't really care because just anything but the word frame. So I'm gonna name it, um, I'm just gonna name it Bob. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but we need to change some things about this. So we need to change. Let's see, I got it written down on paper right here. So the size of this frame, we need to change the size of it. So if we go down to size, let's change it to 200 there and 200 there. And then we are going to do make it invisible. Wait, no. Let me go down. Make it visible. We are just going to go to transparency and one. There. Okay, yeah, set the background transparency to one. And now what you are going to do is you're going to insert a button, text button into that. And you can change the position of it to change that to a 10, I think. A minus 10. There. And that's basically what you can do with that. And now we're going to go down and... Wait, no, nope. what did I do? We're gonna undo that. I meant to do that to the text button. So, so we're gonna change the position of it. If we could find it over okay, here. Change that to minus 10. There. And now we can go to this, make it say open slash close team change and we can make the text scale and we can make the color of it change to let's do orange this time and now we're going to insert a script into this so insert local script and now just do what I do local for frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent and then the sign then wait for child and then we're going to put the word frame in there like that and then that's basically all we need there ah, okay now we can go down a line and do script dot parent dot mouse button one click and then we can do connect and then function, then that, and then we go down and do frame dot visible equal 
not. And then we're going to say frame dot visible. Let me see. I think I might have spelled this. This apple. Did I spell this? Apple there. Okay. So I think we are finished here. Let's test it out. So now, when you press this, it will open and close the menu. So now we actually see our character. As we can see, we spawn at the choosing team place. If we choose red team, the server says you are now on the red team. And we will spawn at the red team. If we press blue team, then we will spawn at the blue team. Well, yeah, you will. And sometimes there's a glitch where you may need to press the button more than once to get to that team. But overall, that shouldn't happen. So, yeah, that's basically how it works. So, tell me in the comments below what you'd like to see next. And if you have a problem, tell me in the comments also. And I will try my best to respond to you with the answers. But that's basically how you do it. So, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment what you'd like to see next. Bye.